Hey everyone, Dr. Nussi from EasyDOTPhysicals.com back again with another video. And in this video, I hope to clear up a lot of the misconceptions about the accuracy of at-home drug tests. These drug tests that you can get on Amazon, you can get them at Walgreens. They're very cheap, they're easy to use. You do it in the privacy of your own home, but how accurate are they? Can you actually rely on the results? Are the results accurate? And again, there are a lot of misconceptions about the accuracy of these tests, especially when it comes to marijuana, uh, because obviously marijuana is the most common substance that these drug tests are used for. And also, as I've stated a number of times, in the past, marijuana levels can fluctuate because THC is fat soluble. All right, so we're gonna look at as much data that is available to get an actual estimate for the percentage of how accurate these tests are. I'm not gonna answer this by just saying they're kind of accurate, they're pretty accurate. We wanna look for an actual percentage. So I'm gonna estimate the percentage of accuracy. So before I do that, thanks to all the subscribers to this channel, thanks to the members of this channel for helping keep this channel going. If you like this content, if you got something out of it, please take just a second to like this video just so YouTube shows it to more people. I want as many people as possible to be informed about these type of subjects. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below. Believe me, I read all of those comments. All right, so first, let's talk about how these home drug tests actually work. And we're specifically talking about the urine drug tests. So what you will do is you will urinate into a cup and then you will have a test strip and you will dip that test strip into the urine sample and then by capillary action, the urine will flow up the test strip into the test field and then antibodies will bind to specific drug compounds, namely the metabolites of the drug that are in the urine, causing a visual indicator on that strip. And in the Exploro tests that I recommend, and again, a link to those tests are in the description box below, this will cause a line not to be formed in the test field. And again, I've done a complete video showing how to use this test correctly. All right, so that is how a simple home drug test works. What does the FDA say about the accuracy? Well, I'll quote them here from their website. The at-home testing part of this test is fairly sensitive to the presence of drugs in urine. This means that if a drug is present, you will usually get a preliminary or presumptive positive test result. So this is pretty general. Again, we need to go further than this. We actually want to get a number, a percentage of how accurate these tests actually are. So now let's look at three studies to give us a more clear picture on accuracy. And I will leave timestamps on this video. So if you're not concerned or you don't want to hear about the science and just want to skip ahead to the final accuracy number, feel free to do so. So study number one, this is accuracy of common drug screen tests. And this is from all the way back in 1991. Luckily, the technology hasn't changed that drastically since then. So we can glean some information from this study. And this compared different types of home tests. The most similar technology to the home tests that we current, currently see on the market is what they call SIVA's ETS. So here are the results. Efficiency in the detection of cocaine and its metabolites was 95% by all methods. Efficiency for the detection of marijuana and its metabolites ranged from 70% on a test that we're not really concerned about to 90% on the test that we are concerned about. So again, the most similar technology to the home test is what they're calling this SIVA's ETS. So marijuana has a 90% accuracy for these home tests and cocaine has a 95% accuracy. Study number two, this is the evaluation of the accuracy of on-site multi-analyte drug testing devices in the determination of the prevalence of illicit drugs in drivers, and this is from 1998. So these specimens were tested using the four selected kits and aliquots of specimens were sent to a certified lab for gold standard comparison testing by immunoacid and gas chromatography, which is the absolute 
standard. It's the most accurate way to test. So they compared them to standard lab tests, lab tests that you would see if you had an official uh, drug test like by the federal government. So here are the results. The accuracy ranged from 94% to 98.3% for THC, so very, very high accuracy for these screening tests, to 97.4% to 98% for cocaine, and 99.7% to 100% for opiates. So about 94 to 98% accurate for the THC, 97, 98 for cocaine, and about 100% for opiates. All right, study number three, and then I will get off of the science and actually give you a number. This is a pilot study of the accuracy of on-site immunoassay urinalysis of illicit drug use and for whatever reason in seriously mentally ill outpatients. And this one is actually from this millennia, 2014. So the objectives of this study, this pilot study investigated the accuracy of on-site immunoassay urinalysis of illicit drug use in 42 outpatients, again with co-occurring substance use disorders and serious mental illness. So again, this immunoassay, which is basically what home drug tests use, that technology. So here are the results. Agreement between immunoassay and GCMS, gas chromatography was calculated. Gas chromatography, again, being the absolute best way to detect a drug in a sample. This is what labs use to confirm drug test results. Agreement was high with 98% agreement for amphetamine, methamphetamine, opiate, and marijuana, and agreement for cocaine was 93%. All right, so what does all this mean? Are at-home drug tests 100% accurate? No, they are not, and any at-home drug test manufacturer will tell you that. Based on these results, they are probably significantly above 90% accurate for THC and definitely in the high 90s as far as percentage for other drugs. So if you feel like you're getting results that are not accurate based on your use, then it's likely due to how you are actually performing the test. So again, I've talked about this in other videos, but things like exercise, water consumption, the time of day that you test, all of these can affect the outcomes of the drug test slightly, and this is especially true for THC. And you also certainly want to make sure that you're performing multiple tests once each morning, every day in the morning, to see if there is a trend of you passing or failing the at-home drug test. All right, so I hope that was very helpful and informative. If you have any questions, please leave those in the description box below. And until next time, everybody, stay safe.